Here's an example that illustrates the discrete uniform distribution. A fair die is rolled three times. Find the probability that the sum of the spots on the up faces that appear is five or less. In this case, there are three random variables that are out there and subscripts will be used to differentiate between the three of them. X sub i will denote the number of spots that appear on roll i. The fair die is being rolled three times so x sub i is the number of spots that appear on roll i and that will go for i equals one, two, and three. So x1 is the number of spots on the first roll, x2 number of spots on the second roll, x3 number of spots on the third roll. The discrete uniform distribution comes in because the probability mass function looks like this. Now there are actually three probability mass functions here and one for i equals one, two, and three. The question asks for the probability that the sum of the spots on the up faces is five or less. So we want the probability that x1 plus x2 plus x3 is less than or equal to five. Later in chapter seven, we're going to start in to figure out how to do convolutions, that is adding up random variables. So for right now, we're going to think of the outcome to this a little more geometrically. When we had two dice being rolled, we drew a six by six matrix where the rows represented the first outcome and the columns represented the second outcome. Now that we have three dice being rolled, it's back in three dimensions and so what you have is you have six to the third power and that is 216 little boxes here and these 216 little boxes each represent one of the possible outcomes. So we know since six to the third is 216 outcomes. We know that there are 216 equally likely outcomes for the sum and all we have to do is figure out how many of those outcomes correspond to being five or less. So we just start listing them. There is one, one, one. That gives you a total of three. And then there is one, one, two. That's a total of four. And then of course there's one, two, one, that's also a total of four. All the way down to at the very end here, we will have probably a one, 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 three. That's a total of exactly five. And if you count up the number of these that are in there, there are 10 of them. So 10 of these 216 boxes correspond to getting exactly um, five or less and if you want to put that in lowest terms that's the same as five divided by 108. Now on the next slide is how to calculate this in Apple. So in Apple there is a built-in distribution that is known as the uniform discrete random variable and when we send that from one to six each roll of the die will have the distribution of x as it is defined here. There is also a routine that's known as convolution which will add up three of these each with the same distribution and we can put that into y. Notice that the support of x will go from one to six since we're adding up three of these the support of y will go from one up to eighteen. Finally, if you want the CDF of Y evaluated at five, that'll give you the probability of a total number of spots being five or fewer, and that will return 
the 10 divided by 216, which in lowest terms will be 5 divided by 108. Now, if you want a mean-spirited twist on this problem, where you can't actually list out, well, you could, but uh, it'd be a pain to list out all the probabilities. What is the probability of a total of 49 or fewer spots in 15 rolls of a fair die? So solution one is to do what we did on the previous slide, and that says of the 6 to the 15th power different possible outcomes, count the number that are corresponding to 49 or fewer spots showing. That's not something that you want to do by hand, but Apple is particularly adept at this type of thing. And if you simply take this code and replace our three rolls by 15 rolls, and instead of evaluating the CDF at 5, evaluate it at 49, this all works out to 0.3265. And here is the answer as an exact fraction in lowest terms. Notice this time that there is a routine that is called convolution IID X and 15. That particular uh, function will determine the distribution of adding up 15 random variables, each of which has the distribution of X. The IID here stands for independent and identically distributed.